Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are going to talk about this bait thing. What's up, Commander? I don't know what your problem is, Joker. It worked, didn't it? Hey, Tally. How you doing, my love? Back during my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place. And watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner. And then you broke their floor. I'm fine, by the way. Glad to hear it. Try not to destroy any more of my childhood memories. Well, technically, it wasn't me who broke the floor, it was the people shooting at me. Hey, Caden. The Normandy's nice, but for unwinding after a mission, you can't get better than this. Observation Lounge needs a hot tub. Agreed. Hey, Shepard. Hey, Eddie. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to fish. Hilarious. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Edie. Nothing beats having a Krogan bodyguard, huh? Had a buddy like that once. Uh, no, not so much a buddy, really. More of a prisoner who helped us. <laughs> it's a long story, man. Anyway, Brooke, she's kind of cute. Think she's on the market? Shepard. Shepard. I uh, won't talk to the REX, I think that starts the mission. Hey, Jeffic. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. Commander. All right, laugh it up, Jeffic. Hey Rex, how you doing? Bet you never saw a shuttle get taken down like that before. Nope. <laughs> I still got it. You sure do, Rex. Thought we were done with all the shooting on the Citadel after Cerberus messed the place up. They must want you bad, Shepard. Price of fame, I guess. Shepard? Shepard? Anyone else hiding anywhere? No. All right. Ah, Garrus. So what was it, Shepard? Five minutes before someone started shooting at you. On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in, unless the bad guys look in the window. How's it going? All right. We spoke to the squad mates. Is that everyone though? No. Nope. Got Cortez here. I'm glad you made it out of that ambush, okay? None of us saw that coming. But lesson learned. Never have dinner with Joker. It won't end well. See? Steve gets it. Glad you're okay, Shepard. Anyone else anywhere? No. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. I'm gonna have to write a report about getting shot. I hear those are really complicated. It's faster if you make a template. <coughs> I think maybe you get shot too much. <laughs> <laughs> I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan, out. 
So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, sir. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No, but the truth is boring. Khan didn't sound friendly to whoever that voice was. Maybe he'd pass on that info to us. That would take some extremely smooth talking. If he sees you, he'll probably assume you're looking for revenge. The casino has a panic room. Chances are he'll have gone to ground there. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear. Or worse, if his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team. No gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Still, we're talking about a casino. There's gotta be alarms in that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast bear and leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No. What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? We'll be backing you up. The second you hit something you can't handle, we'll cover you. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. Right, Tally, we're going on a date. without body armor, but it's soft to touch. Good to know. How are you so calm? Flirt. Well, you did run under a reaper while it fought a Thresher Maw, so this is no big deal for you. Relax, Brooks. Right. Okay. On it. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. We are. Do you have any input? I'm here, Shepard. Okay, Tally. Time to meet the riffraff. Alright. No, no, I'm not running for... Hi, Elspeth Norain. I'm running for Zakara Ward City Council. Are you a citizen here? I've had bad experiences with politicians. Who hasn't? That's why I'm running. I got sick of leaders with ties to terra firma or Cerberus or worse. Oh? The ward needs refugee facilities. It needs security. It needs jobs. It needs everything. And hopefully, with a friend like Elijah Khan backing me, I can make it happen. 
Yeah, good luck with that. I'm upstairs by the grate leading to the shaft, but there's a problem. Can you meet me? Uh, sure. Upstairs. Oh, there you are. Okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Dr. Tassoni gave me this to pass to you. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. Cool. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omni tool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self delete after a few seconds. Got it. This place is in. Good. I've got the grate open, and in we go. Act casual. This could take a while. Uh, good stuff. Drinks are complimentary tonight, sir. What do you have? Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. Testian Temple coming up. Are Asari drinks usually mild? Not all of them. Mr. Khan had us put out some gelatin shots earlier. Also, Asari, they kick like a shotgun. Cool. Good to know. Commander Shepard. Chaira. It's been a long time. My idea of a long time is different than yours, Commander. What can I say? I put a lot of living into the last few years. Indeed. Do you have any advice for me this time? When? Thanks, Chaira. Very helpful. Don't panic. I'll get his attention. Excuse me. I think I saw someone doing drugs in the men's room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games bionically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, sir. Appreciate the help. Good night now. I'll try. Clear, Brooks. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to Khan. So, to sum up, tomorrow starts with the Help a Dream Foundation, then it's Blood Drive, Refugee Camp, and Hospital Tour. Hmm. Sounds like you turned pro. I try. Ms. Rios believes we have an obligation to the less fortunate. Of course. So, how are you liking the party so far? There's a party? <laughs> Alright. Oh, I've already mingled with you. Evening. What's popular tonight? Well, some adventurous souls are trying to mind fish. It's what Hanar like to do instead of alcohol. I guess since they're mostly water, the dehydration would be bad. Right. So there's this fish with hallucinogenic skin oil. Gets Hanar buzzed right up. What happens if humans eat it? Way more potent. And it releases into our system slowly. Best to clear your schedule for the entire weekend. I guess I'll, I'll uh, skip on that one then. Thanks. Uh, what's going on upstairs? Yeah, some of that sh famous shepherd dancing. Tally, you've got some moves. To be honest, this is probably me 
if I was drunk enough to be dancing. And I don't drink, so that's never going to happen. God, that is awful. Alright. You know, I respect the first guy who looked up at Sun. Enjoying the party? Young people party. I drink. Tonight it's ring call on the road. That stuff can put you down for the count. I just lost a staggering amount of income. This puts things in perspective. You need a few credits for a ride home or anything? Oh no, it's not like that. You know about all those helium-3 facilities that are getting wiped out? I've flown by a few. Well, to put it in layman's terms, most of those facilities were mine. Oops. Yeah, not sorry about that old dude. Um, Talk to me, Brooks. I've got a pressure pad and an obstruction detector ahead. I can't disable them from here. Okay. Edie, I need a tech solution. Brooks, stay put. We'll find some junctions and take down the sensors. Okay. Follow the red wiring. All right. Red wiring. I'm at a junction. There's a camera and a guard. I'll just be Just give the signal and I'll distract him. I think some of my suit software is setting off alarms at the tables. That sometimes happens with our Volus and Quarian guests. Let me see what I can do. Brooks, try it now. Checking the pressure pad. No alarms. Looks good. Follow the red wiring. Oh, there's a second one. Uh, there was no one over here, I think, wasn't there? There's a junction by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe sort of starting to fall asleep a little. Hang in there. We've got this. Just give the signal and I'll distract him. I was told there was Baron racing here, but I'm having trouble finding it. There we go. I'm at the storage room grate. Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? Awesome. Hey, Commander. What? What happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silent alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard, I'll call the responding guard to say it was a false alarm, but you must install him before he reaches Brooks. Hey! Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Barrels? Sir, we checked out the alarm in storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What do you need? I'm sorry, are you with security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You've got the same suit. <laughs> you! Enjoy your evening. <laughs> You're clear, Brooks. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. Alright. Attention, bets are locked. Attention, all bets are locked. Come on, Tiger Bite. Bring it home. You got a lot riding on him? He's my boy. Picked him up at a shelter. Whoever let him go had no eye for racers. He can outrun anything he can't outfight, and outfight anything he can't outrun. What are the odds on? Enough to pay for my kids' tuition. Yeah, good luck with that. Where else can we mingle? Spoken to you. No, I'll call you back. Potential client here. Enjoying the party? 
like adrenaline in my heart. They're gonna have a fire breather on the bar later and shoot fireworks above the ward. Would fireworks even burn in a vacuum? It worked at New Year's. Whatever they did, it looked freaking nuclear. I see. Anyone else? back there well I got my side yours is still on though we need to finish this before someone comes by hang tight I'll get to you follow the yellow wiring interesting you're not mingling and you're not betting what's your game the name's Roland Quarn the game commander Shepard is hearts and minds care to elaborate most people in this casino are here for a good cause Others are just here to be seen. Phonies, if you will. They have money they won't miss. Others who are not myself need it. So the honorable thing to do is part them from this money. So you're a con man? Con men leave their marks angry. Con artists leave them smiling. I guess that's one way to look at it. to get their patterns down There we go. Perfect. Con, I'm not here to threaten you. We need to talk. What the hell? Well, this is inconvenient. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back? Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. You'll need to do better than that. The last guy to trash talk me was a few kilometers taller than you. Brave. I thought as much, but it won't matter. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Why do this? What did I do to you? I'm going to take everything you have and everything you are. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Nice. That was quite the party. Well, except for the murder at the end. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. Uh, 
Let's go talk to Tally again. It's not every day a quarian gets to mingle with the rich and famous. It seemed like you were having fun causing distractions. Whatever it takes to get you to bring me somewhere nice. Hey. I could go for some food while we wait. Too bad you shot the hell out of the best sushi place in the Citadel, huh? You're gonna have to let that go, Joker. What's up, Commander? Did I ever tell you about my casino run-in with the Vorcha Mafia? 5,000 credits and a bottle of whiskey? Actually, never mind. Hey, Shepard. Yeah, there, Liara. I hear it was quite the party, even if things didn't go exactly as planned. At least you didn't come away empty-handed. Commander? Greetings, Commander. The casino will be hosting another gala in a few months. Shall I arrange for tickets? Once was enough. True. <laughs> Damn, Commander. He can't even attend a party without someone ending up dead. Now, if I can just find some chow around here, you'd think a pad like this would be stocked. Shepard. Shepard. All right. Anyone hiding anywhere? No. Commander, instead of infiltrating the casino using a disguise, it would have been better to hold all the primitives hostage, threaten them with death, and shoot them until they gave you what you wanted. Next time, I will gladly assist. I'm sure you will, Javik. Sure you will. Yeah, there, Rex. What's the matter, Shepard? Didn't want me as your date. <laughs> Too much Krogan for you to handle? A lot of people have that problem. Most of them are dead. <laughs> but Rex, if, if you're going to flirt with me, at least look at me. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Garrus, you still up here? Any life or death encounters with fish aquariums this time? No? Mm, too bad. I can hear Vega's stomach rumbling from here. How's it going? I'm being bullied. You're all so mean to me. I am your commanding officer still, you know. Hey, Cortez. Sounds like the mission ended with a hiccup. Well, I'm just glad our team made it back okay. Edie will get it done. Edie will get it done. That she will. I think we've got something, Commander. I am glad to see my physical proximity was not necessary to the success of the mission, Shepard. Let's see what you find before we call it a win. Uh, how are we doing? Yeah, let's crack on. Commander, Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if you're ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still. We found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost her chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. But how come everyone's always shooting at us? I think it's mostly you, Rex. The bigger the target, the bigger the... uh... target. You're saying I've gained weight? It just means there's more of the legend to love. Ah, <laughs> oh, the banter! Friendship? I think that's your secret weapon. It's all just part of the job. Wait. Job? You mean the rest of you are getting paid for this? Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you, they bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max, what do they need with that kind of firepower? 
It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel archives. Punch it up. The archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where is hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the volas? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <sighs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh, who gets to take point with you? Who's going to pay the bill? <laughs> oh, I love these moments. Another reason why I love this Citadel DLC so much, the banter between... Will you stop erasing my weapons? There we go. That one, yeah, uh, and you'll do. The best way into the arc. The facility is located below the wards. Maybe a direct breach for maximum surprise. I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell, hang out with us long enough, and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher maws. <laughs> Don't hang out too long. Pretty soon you'll be making friends with a sorry. I heard that. The archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. <laughs> This won't end well for her. You bastard. All right. Uh, uh. Whatever you think you're getting away with, there's nowhere you can run, nowhere you can hide where we can't find you. Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hide. Not exactly how I saw this playing out. Oh, he did the superhero thing, or supervillain thing in this case. Who are you? You weren't the only Shepard that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. Where did you come from? The same DNA as you. A clone. Cerberus spared no expense resurrecting you. With me, I was created for spare parts in case you needed another arm, or a heart, or a lung. Where have you been this whole time? In a coma, 
until I woke up six months ago. While you were in a jail cell on Earth, I was learning to be human. Amazing what a person can do with enough neural implants. If you're really me, then we're on the same team. We're not even in the same league. Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. Then why have you been trying to kill us? Because I don't have his memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Talizor of Vast Normandy. I'm not sure whether to kill you with a bullet, or just take off your helmet and cough. You're just a cheap imitation of the real thing. I'm the real thing perfected. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, the failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one will ever believe you're Shepard. They will when I'm flying his ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown. Transmitting command codes now. Good idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer, this is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm setting the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get underway. It'll be a cold day in hell before someone steals my ship. It's not stealing if I'm you. Execute them. The cult of Shepard ends today. Wrong bitch. We still got everyone? Where's everyone else? God damn it. Where's the other you go? He's pushing into the archives. Stay in your groups. Team Mako, you're on point. Right. What's a Mako? Something we could use right about now. Team Hammerhead, cover the flank. Got it. And the Mako's got nothing on the Hammerhead. I love my team. I'm a Spectre, it's fine. Anything in here for me to pick up? No! Alright. What have we got here? That, that. Anything else? No? Alright. That's Caden's line. At this point, anything's possible. You mean like strolling along and bumping into your clone? I don't want to talk about it. Right. At least not till we've all had a drink. Maybe not even then. So how will we find anything in here? Blip. Yes, Commander. Track the target. Give me updates on its location. What is the nature of the target? He looks like me. Then I have found the target. No, Blair. It's another me. Now get going. At once, Commander. <sighs> so annoyingly pedant pedantic. Shepard, step onto that platform and 
we can lower you from here. Cool. First time my people met yours, Shepard. Naturally, bullets were involved. Research alcoves. Commander, the other you is searching for something 200 meters ahead. Got it. Fighting your own clone is crazy, even for us. But useful. If there is a task you don't wish to do, Commander, let them handle it. So, like a personal butler? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so let your clone do it. <laughs> Karis, you dick. Damn it. Alright, we're going this way then. Oh, ammo. Ha, <laughs> bitch. There we go. Leave it to me to save all your asses again. Go, I'll cover you. Move. Hey, that's cheating. We're on the ladder. This is Shepard. We need. <laughs> yes. And that's the moment when the universe ran out of ammunition. <laughs> the other me can't be far. Keep up the pressure and we'll try to surround him. Let's move. That was a good line, but I prefer Rex's line in that moment. Sir, we captured this human in the occupation of Shang-Chi. A human? You're the first I've met. And you're the first bird I've met. He was armed with this weapon, sir. How primitive. Your kind expects to win a war with this. A bullet is a bullet. You have so much to learn. And when we conquer your Earth, I look forward to teaching you. Yeah, first contact war. Not pleasant, I imagine. A lot of hostility. Imagine the history stores here. It must go back thousands of years. I just wonder what the other me is looking for in here. Year 700 CE. Hogan Rebellions attack on Council, Vault K-306. This is the only visual record of Krogan Overlord Kredek's attack on the Council. Audio follows. I've heard enough. If the Krogan hadn't taken on the Rachni, you would all be at their mercy. You won't give us what we deserve, and so you force us to take it. We will never leave the planet of Lucia, no matter how much the Asari cry. Ambassador Kredek, you only weaken your case with this show of violence. 
wrong, Solarian. Now our case is finally strong. Negotiations are over. An expert negotiator. Cheating bastards. Gonna stick your head out, you little shit. You having a lie down? What's going on? Right here, there we go. Look around. Near eighteen ninety six CE, removal of illegal AIs, Vault C nine four zero. These are the last of the AIs on the Citadel. This termination action is unlawful. Why do you continue when our appeal has not yet been heard? Keep quiet. You know that the council will never overturn its own edict. Standing by for your go, sir. Do not terminate us. Go. Hmm. Guessing that they weren't Geth, it was someone else. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything to collect. So let's push on ahead. So they kept the records of Sovereign. I don't like the council. You did. Hope to possess combat capability like 
yourselves. Commander, I have cataloged 18 previously unknown historical events. Where's the target, Blit? He is searching for a secret vault. He did not wish to be disturbed. What? I thought he was you. <laughs> Go find him again. Stupid machine. Chatika <laughs> is so much better at this. Well, could you send her? Nothing going on here. Anything else around here doesn't look like it. There we go. Never get tired Same, frankly. Same. Commander, a large contingent of soldiers calling themselves Razor Squad is just ahead. They wish to inflict bodily harm on you. Also, I discovered an Elk totem in Vault 347B. Okay then. What what happened there? All right, let's try up here then. Um, I changed weapon. I 
I appreciate the support, Rex. Jesus. I saved everyone's ass again. <laughs> Hammerhead and Mako, keep pushing ahead. Right. I might throw up a little bit now if that's okay with everyone. Jesus. Now, give me the thing, thank you. Anything around here. Commander, the other you wishes to pass on a message. Shepard, save yourself the trouble. Once I have what I came here for, you won't matter anymore. Now go, drone. Deliver it. Year 710 CE. Krogan Genophage. Deployment. Vault T101. We have our orders. Release of the Genophage against the Krogan has been authorized. Not by my government. Your government invented it. What good is a weapon if you don't use it? Sergeant Tamas, restrain him. Are we sure of our orders, sir? This is genocide. Sergeant Hout, restrain them both. I'll press the button myself. One day, Solarian, you will thank us. Dispersal commencing. Hmm. That's like even then. There were those opposed to it. Good, good. During emergencies, all archival information must be secured. A pity these scientists perished. I would like to have discussed the Elcor mating totem with them. What is your obsession with the Elcor mating totem? How do I get up there? Ah, this way maybe. Yeah, here we go. Hammerhead, we're headed to the next level. What's your location? Hammerhead, do you copy? We go. This is a good sniper rifle. Right, they went that way. What was that? Be careful. Team Mako, we're coming up behind. What's your status? Mako, where are you?
Year 2183 CE. First human Spectre deliberations. Vault SH-1. Commander Shepard's recent accomplishments are not in question. It's his background that the Council has no knowledge of. Shepard was born to a career military family, growing up on various Alliance postings until enlisting at the age of 18. Anything from Shepard's military record that you'd like to call out? Many in the Alliance consider Shepard a war hero. On Elysium, for example, Shepard single-handedly repelled an attack and saved the entire squad. Thank you for your presentation, and to all who spoke. The Council will render their decision on the suitability of Commander Shepard as Spectre within the day. So that's how it went down. What's your status? The other you is jamming our radios. Hammerhead and Mako are trying to get ahead and cut him off. But I mean head, I need help. Please hurry. I'll be right there, I'm just scoping the place out. Alright, let's go. Anything here? That can't be good. Brooks, the vault sealed us in. Is there an override? I'm not seeing one. Cortez? Brooks? Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in Iridium vaults and forgotten for... well... Forever. Others know about this. About you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? Oh no! Betrayal! I wouldn't know. I don't actually work on that. Who could have seen this coming? Who the hell are you? And do you really think I won't track you down? My name doesn't matter. I never keep the same one for more than a few days. And if the elusive man hasn't found me yet, you never will. Your Cerberus? Was. Mr. Elusive and I didn't see eye to eye. He is indoctrinated, whereas I prefer the whispers in my head to be my own. Why not come to me? We could have worked together. In a way, we did. I'm the one who put together all those dossiers on your suicide mission. The collector base? There was the Solarium Doctor, Yasari Justica, the Turian. Nice to have finally met you, Archangel. Charmed. They were all mistakes. We were a pro-human group who started looking to aliens for help. So I bided my time. And when I found another you who agreed, I woke him up. What was the point of it all? All we really wanted was your Spectre code. I got Shepard. Spectre access accepted. But then you survived the hit and insisted on bringing your damned Asari into it. So I had to tie up loose ends. The arms deal. Elijah, it's me. We need to talk. What the hell's going on? I swear, if those guns get tracked back to me, they won't. But then your sex bot just had to go and recover the data. So here we are, forced to contain the situation. Fair warning. Nobody who's betrayed us has ever survived. And yet, oddly, they keep trying. You two may think you're clever. And yeah, you were. Just a bit. But clever doesn't beat a bullet. And yeah, maybe I am trapped in here. But don't get comfortable, because that bullseye on your back is getting bigger by the second. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda. I have her. Mine has more bite. Of course. It was fun while it lasted. What are you doing? <coughs> Set it up right. Remember this? You 
were the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way, you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. I don't care what species they are. Every life counts. But maybe a clone wouldn't understand that. <laughs> you know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it a shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard. Human Spectre. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, I should go. <laughs> Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. So that went rather well. He said, I should go. Do I sound like that? <sighs> yeah, kind of. Shouldn't we be worrying about the impregnable vault we've been sealed inside forever? How come nobody told me this before? I'm open to feedback here. I'm not really one to talk. I've been told that I say calibrating more than a Turian should. Mm -hmm. There's probably not much air in here either. For the three of us, maybe an hour, we take shallow breaths. Maybe it's, I should go. I should go. I should go. Shepard, please! Why aren't you more worried about this? Hmm? Oh, Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my shit. Not even me. Uh, technically we did steal it once though in Mass Effect 1. With a little help from Space Dad. Remember? Well, this is going to be a bit of an extended episode. I've got room for Shepard plus two. And figured out fast because the other Shepard is stealing my ship. We all know who I'm going to pick, but I love how self-aware the game becomes in this moment. What? I wanted to go. As did I. It seems I rarely get picked. Joker will come back for you. I promise. I love Rex's... I wanted to go. <laughs> They, moments like that is what makes Mass Effect 3 so great. I'll stick with what I've got. It's the characters that make this trilogy what it is. I hate Shorely. I swear you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? <laughs> Try. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. If they get the Normandy. We can still contact the Alliance directly, right? You can prove you're the real Shepard. <sighs> no, he hacked the biometric logs. Any scan we try will show him as the real Shepard. Yes, that. Can we all just agree that it'd be easier to not let Shepard's evil clones steal the Normandy? Don't worry. You'll get your ship back. We'd better. I just got the seat broken in how I like it. <laughs> okay, Citadel systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Get back and pick up the others. ASAP. Right. They can't have gotten far. Unless they call the cab or something. I was really hoping we'd get to shoot something. <clears throat> But well, there you go, Garrus, you've got your wish. Yeah. 
I like this sniper rifle. When I shoot you in the head, you die. Like that. Holy shit. Right, let's switch back to this. Is that all of them? The well, we better get up there then, haven't we? When we want to take off, there's a half hour of pre flight checks. They just gun the engine and go? Most of those checks are just to make the captain feel better. Thanks for letting me know. Get inside. Nobody steals my ship. And I don't even... Wait. What? You were just on the Normandy. You... You fired me. Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming. You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. <laughs> That's decision pro mark four. It uses mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. Yes, I told you that. And I remember, because I'm the real shepherd. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you. A, a clone. Honestly, when you serve on the Normandy long enough, you get used to things like this. I can explain more later. For now, It's sealed. The engines are online. They're about to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. Okay. You know this ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right here. Manual lock, and it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? From this side, a very precise mass effect field, maybe. <laughs> if you told me this morning that a toothbrush was gonna save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. To be fair, so would I. Even with all the crazy shit we've seen today. Sir, just before takeoff, Normandy registered a perimeter access alert. One of the security hatches. Yeah. Where? 
Unknown. When we shut down the AI, we disabled a lot of security systems. Shepard could be anywhere on the ship. Shepard is standing right in front of you. Are we clear? It's better this way. Wouldn't you rather take him down yourself? Armory. Find him. Slow him down. Well, my clone's a real douche. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. Hey, Shepard. Reimburse Trainer for her toothbrush. Later. Remind me later. I love you, what Tally. What is this place for, our keepers? Quiet. Can't risk them hearing us up top. Sorry. All right, get a patrol going. Find Shepard, the real one. Hey, what do you mean by slow down? We're allowed to kill Shepard if we have to, right? He said slow him down because he thinks we're cannon fodder. Oh. You are. No. One of my favorite places to find. The CIC of a warship? Right there, above the gardens and below the electronic shops. And antique shops, as I recall. But only if they're classic. All right, give you one of those, and then we'll bring out this bad boy. Perfect. They're all still here. Lock down the Normandy. Can you help us out? Edie, do you copy? She's offline. They must have disabled her. <laughs> Let's get to the cargo bay. Grab this. Tool cat long range specialist. Primary weapon. All right. All right. Snipers management. Her. Have all this. Please send this to an animal shelter for proper disposal, as a warship is not an appropriate. Oh, that is not okay. He messed with my hamster, guys. Now it's personal. Guys, were you gonna say something or no? No, I get it. Hard to even find the words. Should we check on my fish? Because if he's getting rid of all the pets, at least should probably deal with him first, huh? All right. That's all the uh, hamster banter out the way. So, anyone want to talk about their people's history? Hila, not even a little bit. So I'm the only one who misses when we used to chat in the elevators back on the Citadel. Yes, because you're terrible. So <laughs> disappointed. Stop shooting up my ship. It's not your ship. It will be. I've taken your name, your Spectre rank, even your fingerprints. And then you left me to die. Only I didn't. 
You think fake fingerprints are gonna fool the council? Or hack it? How's that big plan looking now? Not today, bitch. Hatchet squad to the shuttle. Bay. this Can you all, like, fuck off? One eternity later. behind the thing. Finally. That's not good. Look at you. What makes you so damn special? Why you would not me? Hang on! We stopped you! Uh. 
That's the difference. Thanks. What about him? You. Get off my ship. Damn right. Last resort. Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Although I may need some help from James cleaning up the damage to the shuttle bay. Plus, they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but shuttle guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. <laughs> what about Edie? Is she back online? Glad to hear it. What about the Mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy ass pilot and her. Alliance has taken her to a high security facility. Maybe she can give them some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Maya, I know that voice. Do you really? You're getting a chance to redeem yourself. Don't waste it. So serious. Admit it. Some part of you liked having me around. Looking up to the legend? No, not really. We had some laughs. And who knows? Maybe we'll have more some. No, we won't. Because you're gonna stay in your cell and do your time. Afraid I'll escape? Come back for revenge? Is the great Commander Shepard pleading for his life? I'm pleading for yours. So thoughtful. <sighs> then I suppose I'm off to lock up. You know. Yeah, you are. He wouldn't have let me live. You can't clone everything. I'm sorry we didn't shoot her. <laughs> Same. Oh, C sex here. They're doing a heckin' concern. Jesus, this is the the episode's gone way longer than normal. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Hey guys. Appreciate it. Come on. Maybe we can take some actual time off. No explosions or anything. Just us. I'll believe it when I see it. But it's worth a shot. <laughs> oh, thank God that old deal's over and done with. Jesus. After a hard day spent fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. A nap? Please. We party down. Well, I gotta get going. Things to settle up before I head back to Tuchanka. Always fires to put out when you're in charge, right? Let me know if you want to hang out or if you're having that party. See ya. Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. All right. Good idea. Let's set it up. I've channeled discretionary funds into your account for the purchase of any celebratory supplies, Commander. Okay. Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. What? I have also informed Dr. Tassoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm in charge of the guest list. Yeah, so there's no uninvite button on this thing? All right, but when it's time, I invite the rest. Cortez just invited James. So... Fine. 
<laughs> go out and see how much trouble I can get into without snapping a femur. Members of your crew have expressed interest in spending time with you, Commander. You can check your private terminal for messages. Thanks, Griff. If you require activities, Silver Sun Strip has an arcade in addition to the casino. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. Thanks, Cliff. Guess I should take advantage of some shore leave myself. Yeah, I think we're going to need it after that. This episode's nearly two damn hours long. I've got one more asset back. Right, I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully I can cut it down to a sensible amount of time, because now I'm 45 minutes is ridiculous. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.